Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, magdi-discuss tayo ng topic sa advanced mathematics na subject. So ito yung tinatawag natin na Laplace Transform. So ano ba yung Laplace Transform mga Lodi? So under pa rin naman to ng differential equations, pero more or less, dinidiscuss siya din sa advanced mathematics. So ano ba ibig sabihin ng Laplace Transform? So yung Laplace Transform, that is in the form, the Laplace Transform of a function t, that is equal to the integral of e raised to negative st, f of t dt from 0 to infinity. So, ano ba purpose ng Laplace Transform? Ang Laplace Transform kasi is in terms of s, ang purpose niyan mga Lodi is kinatransform niya yung mga ordinary differential equations into algebraic equations para mas madali nating masolve yung mga ODEs natin. So, yun yung ginagawa ng Laplace Transform. So, let's say we have a function f of t, i-convert niya into uh, in terms of s. So, meron tayong mga basic. So, part 1 muna tayong mga Lodi. Simulan muna natin sa mga basic functions or basic Laplace transform. Ang Laplace transform ng t raised to n, that is n factorial all over s raised to n plus 1. Pwede nyo namang i-try, i-prove mga Lodi. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, ilalagay nyo yung t raised to n dito sa f of t. Then, ang makukuha nyo uh, sagot is n factorial over s raised to n plus 1. Ang Laplace transform ng e raised to a t, that is equal to 1 over s minus a. Tandaan natin yan mga Lodi ha. So, sagot tayo ng sample problems para at least magkaroon tayo ng overview dun sa Laplace Transform. Okay. So, tandaan natin yung mga formulas mga Lodi na binigay ko ha. So, okay. So, number 1. So, bigay tayo ng example. Find the Laplace Transform of t squared. So, for number 1, find the Laplace Transform of t squared plus 4t plus 5. Okay? Paano natin kukunin yung Laplace nyan? So, isa-is na mo lang. Laplace transform of t squared plus Laplace transform of 4t plus Laplace transform of 5. Mga Lodi. So, ano mangyayari dyan? Kung t squared to, so that is 2 factorial all over s raised to 2 plus 1 plus Yung 4, i-carry over natin. So, that is 4 uh, raised to uh, multiplied by 1 factorial. Kasi nga yung exponent ng n natin is 1. Yung 4 multiplier lang siya. All over s raised to 1 plus 1 plus ang Laplace transform ng constant that is equal to constant over s. So, that is 5 over s. So, it follows that Laplace transform of a constant that is yung constant natin over s. Therefore, ano magiging final answer natin dito mga Lodi? So, it will become 2 over s cubed plus 4 over s squared plus 5 over s. Ito na po yung sagot natin. Pero madalas kasi, ang ginagawa nila is sinisimplify pa nila yan. Bakit mga Lodi? Sinisimplify yan in the sense na kinukuha yung LCD, then kinukumpit yung sum niya algebraically, kasi Meron kasi tayong sa ano topic na direct sunod-sunod ng mga topic yan. Darating tayo sa point na i-discuss natin yung inverse Laplace transformation. So from S ibabalik mo siya as f of t. Kaya naka-simplify yan. For the meantime, yan muna tayo mga load. Okay? Next problem. So let's have uh, let's uh, three problems. For number 2, so ang problem natin, find the Laplace transform of t cube so Laplace transform ng t cube minus t squared plus 4t so ganun lang mga load di Laplace transform lang yung kada isa so sa t cube muna tayo that is 3 factorial over s raised to 3 plus 1 minus 2 factorial kasi yung n natin n factorial over s raised to n plus 1 plus 4t so, that is 1 factorial. Basta yung mga constant mga Lodi, carry over nyo lang. I-times nyo lang. All over, S raised to 1 plus 1. Kapag sinimplify, ang 3 factorial ay 6. Therefore, the final answer is 6 over S to the 4th minus 2 over S cubed plus 4 over S squared. Okay? Tapos, tandaan pala natin mga Lodi, dapat yung S natin is always um, positive mga Lodi. So, dapat for this case, S should be greater than 0. So, for our Laplace transform to work, mga Lodi. Okay? Tandaan lang natin laging positive yun. Pero, hinahanap lang naman yung Laplace transform. 
basta alam naman natin na dapat positive siya so pwedeng as is na lang okay isang problem pa so find the Laplace transform of number 3 Laplace transform of e raised to negative 2t plus um, 4e raised to negative 3t So, kung naalala natin mga Lodi, ang Laplace transform ng e raised to at, that is equal to 1 over s minus a. Therefore, ano Laplace transform nito? 1 over s minus a. Kaya magiging plus 2. Ulitin ko, s minus negative 2 kasi s minus a. Kung nag-take down notes kayo kanina mga Lodi. Plus 4 kasi may 4 tayong constant over s plus 3. Normally kasi mga Lodi talaga, ine-express yan or sinisimplify pa. So, try natin isimplify. So, ano LCD niyan mga Lodi? That is S plus 2 multiplied by S plus 3. So, that is, eto, S plus 3. So, cross multiply lang. S plus 3 plus 4S plus 8. Pag sinimplify, ang Laplace transform yan in simplified form. That is S plus 4S, 5S. 3 plus 8 plus 11 all over s plus 2 multiplied by s plus 3. That is our final answer. So, yan part 1 muna mga Lodi. So, sa susunod nating discussion ng Laplace transform, discuss natin yung mga Laplace transform ng mga trigonometric, hyperbolic, mga iba pa mga Lodi. So, thank you so much mga Lodi sa mga subscribers, sa mga patuloy na nagsusubscribe, nakikinig dun sa mga match tutorial videos natin. I hope you all the best mga Lodi and God bless us all. Basta galingan nyo lang, focus lang, just do your best and God will do the rest. Bye-bye for now.